Hello everyone. Uh, I'd just like to say that Insane Tuna has done a great deal of research into oxygen and magnetism and he's going to post everything in his web and his uh, homepage so that everyone else can see the information he gathered for me. Big thanks to him. Now, I'll show you this. That's how it sits in the, the jar with the water. South pole to this side, north pole to that side. Okay? This is the, pos uh, the positive lead, and this is the negative lead. Now you'll see that the oxygen bubbles are gathering all over the south pole. The earth magnets are in the center. Two tiny plates, one nickel, one stainless steel. The field, the magnetic field, is showing you that oxygen is paramagnetic even in water. Now there will be impurities in the water, so the oxygen may be mixed with something else, I don't know, but it's certainly showing you, there's nothing on that plate, very, very little. So, uh, what made me set up this test was uh, in St. Tuna, as I said, and these two balls. Something had to be causing the water to come up the surface. This plastic ball is probably static in there. There's magnets all over the place. And that bottle over there. The only thing that could be affecting it was the magnetic field. So, I think you'll find that it speaks for itself. I've only had this running for an hour, I could leave it longer and there'd be a lot more uh, oxygen bubbles gathering on the plate, but I think you get the picture. You'll see that this side of the, the jar also has bu uh, bubbles gathering it, whereas this side is virtually none. That's it for now.